G'day ice cream lovers, my name's Steve Christensen. Welcome to this video where we're going to talk about waffle wedges. We're continuing this process of talking about everything waffle cones, waffle bowls, everything waffle. Uh, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is frozensolutions.com. Mitch Kleinman and his crew there basically have everything covered so far as cups, spoons, napkins, printed cups, uh, anything that you would want to think. The color changing spoons are a game changer in my opinion. So for everything cup spoons, anything that goes into uh, or covers or eats with frozensolutions.com, tell them that the ice cream bloke sent you. Now in this video we're going to talk a little bit more about the waffle process and we're going to talk a little bit about garnish, waffle wedges. You know, they're a very simple thing to add to a sundae to garnish just to kind of build it up a little bit, make it look nice and fresh and unique to your business and they're very, very easy to make. So let's jump on the GoPro and make a couple and I think you'll be surprised how easy it is to garnish your sundaes and your ice cream products with a freshly made, homemade waffle wedge. So here we go folks, we're back in GoPro mode. We basically have been going over the process of rolling waffle cones. We've done a few bowls here. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about waffle wedges. And why wouldn't you put a waffle wedge as a garnish on your sundaes and on your frozen treats? Because you've got the baker, the mix, all the apparatus and all of the elements here to already make this very, very simple product. So rather than use the die, we'll put this over to the side, or our roller. The only thing you're really going to need for this is a cutting board of some description and a pizza roller. So exactly the same way as we made our cones before. Lift up, again, quarter of a cup right in here. Get our uh, timer going. Uh, another quick thing that I didn't mention before, that if for whatever reason you forget to press the timer, don't be too concerned because you can basically guesstimate about a minute and then open this up, have a look at it and see if it's the same color as some of your other cones over here and I think you'll find yourself in pretty good shape. Okay, so we're gonna take this out just like we would any other time. Take him off the top there. But this time we'll lay it nice and flat and just simply roll out almost like we would cut a pizza. Separate them out, and you can just see how easy that is. This guy didn't cut well enough, uh, snap that off. You may wanna cut them a little bit thinner, totally up to you, but you will see that after it starts to brittle up a little bit, you're gonna lose that kind of nice crisp cut. So you do wanna make sure that you get in there nice and early so you have a nice clean cut. Now, they don't have to be all even, they don't have to be exactly the same size. You want some sort of consistency, but the idea is that you want them so that they just look, they've got the beautiful kind of waffle cone look on the top. Put them in a cup or some sort of container so they can get brittle. Uh, you don't want to have them kind of stacked on each other or left here because they'll sweat a little bit. And then we'll basically dress a sundae. 12 ounce sundae cup, three three ounce scoops of vanilla bean ice cream. Stagger the scoops. One, two, three. Caramel. Bit of whipped cream as garnish. And the piece de resistance. One waffle wedge. Now tell me, tell me that that doesn't look good enough to eat. You can probably even put two in there if you really want it. And you're gonna get customers that are basically going to use that waffle wedge and eat with it. So I can take a little bit of the ice cream. It might be a little bit brittle. We might have to use a bit of a thicker bit here and uh, actually eat with it. Mm. Outstanding. So there you go, folks. Look, if you've got all the gear, why not utilize it to make some pretty cool garnishes to just top off the sundae? And there's nothing better than seeing one of your customers starting to eat their sundae or their ice cream with that waffle wedge. It just adds to the customer experience. Um, there's a saying in Australia, all the gear, no idea. But you have all the gear and you now you have the idea. So put that waffle wedge in your products class them up a little bit, and uh, I think you'll find that it'll be a nice addition to your uh, products, and your customers will love it.
Thanks for joining us. See you in the next video.